Listen to this. It's got attitude. That's actually the name of the brewery that makes the beer I'm reviewing today. I mean, you notice I'm in a different location. I'm trying a new camera, I'm trying, everything's different. I'm trying a new camera, new location, new mic. It's a, gonna be a disaster. I kinda just hope it works. I've had loads of issues. I'm not entirely convinced that the new camera's better, but I'll tell you about that later. Uh, the brewery that I just said the name of on my computer is from... Wroclaw. Wroclaw, which is in Poland. Poland has a long history of making pills, so it made sense that I was trying a pills. The beer in question is here, and believe it or not, it's called pills. Let me just bring that right up to the camera and see if autofocus grabs it. Yeah, that's a freaky little number, isn't it? And I said it's called pills. There's nothing too particularly amazing about it. Um, it's, um, it's almost like one of those constants like the... Um, Smash Sabro that I had earlier. That's like this is this has high expectations for accuracy. It's using pretty much Pils malt. It's using German hops, so Tetnang, uh, Herzbrucker, and Taurus for bitter. And generally, it just should be an amazing Pils. It's five percent, and I'm excited to try it. So. This brewery was founded in 2012, but already has an amazing reputation. I've seen lots of good reviews on TripAdvisor for like eating there. So I guess they have a nice kind of craft gastro pub kind of thing going on as well. So just open that up. Let's give it a little smell. Yeah, it smells like a pills. An amazing pills? I don't know, but it's straight out of the bottle. It smells exactly what I would expect a normal pills well, not a terrible pills, but a normal pills to taste like. So let's, well, let's sip out of the bottle. Mmm. Oh boy. Okay. They've made great, so it's, while well, the smell of the pills is there, even out of the bottle, the hop combination is strong. Like they've gone heavy on a bit of hop chemistry there. All right, let's, try, let's give it a little nosy. Yeah, a very light aroma. Still getting more malt, more pills malt, and then a little bit of, like this tiny bit of bittering hop. I'm not getting so much like the holler tau, which would give it a bit of a kind of more dazzle. Let me just check if I'm getting this right, because I've got the, the notes here. The Herzbrucker should be getting more floral notes. Well. Yeah, that's a good, okay, so the Taurus, I, I'm, I keep saying Hollertau, and that I, I, should, I should be unambiguous. Hollertau is the region where a lot of hops come from. So Taurus is from Hollertau, and Herzberger is from Hollertau, and Tetanang is the one that isn't. But that's what's gonna be grassy notes. So let's just dive back in. So there's three, three hops. Wow, ambitious, okay. So you get the strong Taurus bitter. It has an IBU of 35. Check out my video on IBU for how seriously you should take that. But I think when you've got a very basic malt like pills, you can pick up a pretty accurate sense of the bitterness. And the Taurus is giving it a really strong traditional German bitter, but that grassy hit is there and it's pretty nice. The aromatics are on the nose, but just gentle. So almost like you're just smelling a flower at a distance. And I think it's nice. There was a little bit of an element, and this is going to sound bad, but of, of, of a field. Like, I don't mean grassy, but I mean like, I, this, I don't, I'm trying to find a, a, a tactful way of saying this. When they dung the field. <laughs> but it's not an unpleasant dungness. Almost like a champagne. You know, like when you, if you get a very nice high-end champagne, it has a grassy earthiness to it that is very pleasant. It's got a really sharp carbonation that goes away quickly. It's got lovely clarity. Yeah, it's like a Pils Plus Plus. It's just edging upwards on, on what would be a standard Pils. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Uh, Stumostov. Stumostov. Cool. All right, let's score it up. So in terms of accuracy, it's a Pils from Poland with German hops. Absolutely nailed it. I mean, I think they were going for the benchmark. 
So they exceeded what would be average would be three. Is it the greatest pills I've ever had? It's close, but I'm going to give it a four on accuracy. I'm kind of doing things in reverse order that I would don't normally do them. On uniqueness, well, it's a, no, it's not that unique. It's going for a benchmark. So it's just going to have a three. So we're going to go with a seven. In terms of packaging, actually, I quite like this quite stark, scary character on the front. And the labeling is a little bit off left of center. It's more craft beer -y for a traditional pills. So I'm going to give it a four on art, bring us to 11. Oh, it does bring the gas up. I'm getting that. And then on, it's just standard bottle. So six or up at 14, which is cool. So now I'm going to hit with my, my flavor score. And just a six out of 10 would bring it to a respectable 20. I think I'm gonna give it an eight because it's a really, really nice pills. I'd be tempted to even go nine because that the they've done something with what would be a very boring recipe and they've really elevated it. So I'm not surprised that I've heard so much good praise about it. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, an, I'm gonna stick with the eight because that's what was my gut instinct, which gives it a 22, which is still a very respectable score. The 24 is a four. It's like a 3.75 on untapped. So great work, Stumostov from Vroklov. I think I've got it. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Delicious Pills. My name's Steve Jaguer. Uh, do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if this was an interesting take on a pills. I try and tell you how the beer is constructed, give you a little bit of history of the brewery on the way through. So you get kind of those extra perks and insights about what it is you're drinking and throwing down your throat. All right, this is Beer Native. Thanks for watching. Hey, beer fans, thanks for sticking around to the end. Please subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, give me a thumbs up on this video because the more you do that, the more I'm incentivized to make amazing beer reviews and talk more about what makes beer great. Thanks.